hey guys welcome back to another gta 5 tutorial we are going to be installing a couple of mods and i have to say beforehand you don't really have to install these mods but if you want to go ahead and try to enhance your creativity on gta 5 i think these mods right here could come in very very handy at the very least go ahead and give it a try all right so if you want to go ahead and install the sugar animation keys the only thing i will advise you to do here guys is download the both of these files right here you are going to need the 2.3.1.2 and the 2.2.4.6 as well so please download both of these files all right and then we're going to go ahead and download and install the sitting mod with the sitting mod you'll be able to sit pretty much in any bench where other pads in the game can sit you'll be able to sit there as well for creativity purposes i think this could come in very very handy as well all right and the next thing that we are going to be installing today guys is going to be this stop reversing while drive uh while braking uh it's going to improve uh, i mean you're gonna go ahead and feel the difference in your driving experience as well in the game and of course if you are stopped at a red light or something like that you are going to get uh the brake lights as well just trying to bring the game into life just a little bit more and then last but not least we are going to be installing the player location display so with the player location display guys it's just going to go ahead and show you what you see right here next to your mini map it's going to go ahead and show you the time the and of course you can go ahead and turn off the time as well if you don't want it to show it's going to go ahead and show you the direction in which you are going it's going to go ahead and show you the street name as well all right so with that said let me go ahead and minimize this page right here and what we are going to need is our gta 5 main directory and the other thing guys you need to make sure you have your script book v scriptv.net and script uh, and native ui installed properly in your game we are not going to be covering that i think i've covered that quite a lot in my tutorial so if you want to go ahead and check out my channel go to my playlist and go ahead and watch my tutorials you should be able to uh, have those stuff installed properly all right so without any further ado let's go ahead and begin with the player display all right so this one let's go ahead and unzip the files here real quick player location display so with the player location display guys it's just going to go ahead and open up the installation files right here and then we're going to go ahead and open up the grand theft auto 5 and then we're going to go ahead and just drag and drop both of these files onto your gta 5 main directory just like so as you can see i do have mine right here but if you want to go ahead and make a few changes in the configuration file right here guys if you want to go ahead and match what i'm going to do for mine go ahead and do so and then uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the configuration file and the thing that i'm going to change right here is the um if i can go ahead and show you the picture right here as you can see here you can go ahead and move it either left or right and up and down so we are going to be making a few changes into our um x and y axis all right so for this one guys i think i'm gonna go ahead and change mine to uh, 306 I think it will just bring it much closer to the minimap and then for this one right here i think i'm gonna go ahead and change mine to uh 1025 all right 1025 it's just gonna go ahead and bring it uh just about uh level with the bottom of your mini map right here just to try and make it look a little bit nice all right let me go ahead and minimize this again and over here guys you can go ahead and change the size of what uh you can go ahead and make it big you can go ahead and make it small as well all right um i think the default one is pretty is pretty nice but for me i'm just gonna go ahead and leave this one as 0 0.9 all right it's gonna go ahead and change mine to 0 0.9 i might come back and make it 1.0 it really doesn't matter but i just like my stuff a little bit more neat and tucked in and everything like that all right and of course here are uh, for the display uh game display time over here if you don't want to see the time go ahead and leave this one at false all right i think you're gonna need to see what time it is at any particular time in the game so i think it's pretty nice just to leave it there all right so if you made any changes over here guys go ahead and go to file and save all right so we are done with the player display and now everything that you see over here is going to be going into our scripts folder all right 
so let me go ahead and open up my scripts folder right here and we're gonna go ahead and start with the sugar animation keys as you can see right now we are going to start with the 2.2.4.6 so let's go ahead and open up this file right here i'm going to unzip my files here real quick and the only thing that we are going to need for this file right here we're just going to go ahead and go to the uh, scripts folder right here all right do not install any of this just go ahead and concentrate on the scripts folder right here and the only thing that we are going to need right here is going to be the config configuration settings just go ahead and drag and drop this one onto your scripts folder just like so and we are pretty much done with that next we are going to go ahead and open up the next one is going to be the 2.2 uh 2.3.1.2 go ahead and uh unzip these files here real quick as well what the hell sometimes this thing doesn't like me that much but anyways so let's go ahead and open up this file here real quick and now we're just gonna go ahead and go back into the scripts folder right here now what we are going to need is the sugar animation keys that dll and uh, that's the only file that we need right here all right so just go ahead and drag and drop this one onto your gta5 main directory just like so all right so we are pretty much done with the installation of this and now we are going to go ahead and install the setting mod all right once again it's only one file for this one um <clears throat> quick and easy go ahead and drag and drop this one on your gta 5 main, uh on your scripts folder just like so and we are pretty much done with that last but not least gonna go ahead and open up our stop reversing while breaking and uh, we're gonna go ahead and unzip these files here real quick and for these files as well just go ahead and drag and drop both of these files onto your gta 5 uh scripts folder just like so and we are pretty much done with the install i don't think uh, we need to go you know what let me go ahead and open up the configuration files over here and see what's going on it says use the accelerator to break or while reversing just gonna go ahead and leave this one as false uh turn on the brake light on quickly when the car is stopped so go ahead and change this one to true because if you go ahead and leave it as false you are not going to see the brake lights all right go ahead and change this one to true uh it says leave the black brake lights on after exiting the vehicle with the engine on so if you want to go ahead and see your brake lights while the engine is on and you're outside of your vehicle go ahead and change this one to true as well all right uh once uh if you made any changes over here guys go ahead and go to file and save and now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the game and test it out Alrighty, guys we are in the game and we're just gonna go ahead and try to pull in right here we did install like at least four mods or something like that so we're gonna go ahead and take a look and, and see what these mods do all right so if you can go ahead and take a look next to my mini map you can see your player display location it's gonna go ahead and show you the time and the street that you are on and the direction in which you are facing all right in terms of the start reversing while breaking i think right now you can go ahead and tell that uh my uh brake lights are on because i am stopped right here all right so if i can go ahead and change this to maybe like nighttime maybe you can see this much better right here let me go ahead and make it nighttime here real quick i think right there should be perfect all right so as you can see guys my brake lights are on if i can go ahead and bring out manual here i need to try and see if i can uh, make uh, make sure the engine is on while i'm stepping outside of the vehicle all right so let's see if we can scroll up over here uh keep the engine and lights on all right so let me go ahead and um initiate that and now i'm going to go ahead and step outside of the vehicle all right go ahead and step outside of the vehicle here real quick as you can see the lights are on on the vehicle the brake lights are on as well even the headlights are on as well i think it just adds a little bit of flavor into your gaming experience and you can actually feel the difference uh while driving in game as well that the vehicle does feel a little bit different all right next we are gonna go ahead and check out our seating mod 
uh I, I don't really think you can sit in all benches in the game but i'm pretty sure there are some that you can sit on let's go ahead and try this one out over here as you can see once you step next to a bench that you can sit on you do have an option to have a seat so you can go ahead and uh i don't know just depending on your creativity guys you can go ahead and see how well you want to utilize this mod right here and of course if you do press r1 on your your controller franklin is going to go ahead and change his stance as well so you can go ahead and cycle through this and see which one it fits best with what you're trying to achieve or something like that all right so that's pretty much it about the sitting mod next we are going to go ahead and check out our um sugar animation keys and of course guys you can go ahead and use this to lean next to your vehicle or something something like that if you want to go ahead and take some cool um thumbnails or something like that all right let me go ahead and try to make this uh into like daytime or something like that so you can see much better all right let's go ahead and uh, leave it at like 12 what time is it like 5 after 12 all right so let's go ahead and stand um really close to uh in in order to get the, like the best out of this mod guys if you want to go ahead and lean towards your vehicle for a thumbnail or something like that go ahead and uh really stand next to your vehicle and then you're just gonna go ahead and tap uh for franklin to turn around now i'm gonna go ahead and press number pad one on my keyboard as you can see franklin does have that stance right there i think for number one there's like two I think there is three or four animations or something like that so you might need to go ahead and press number one uh, on your number pad again to see another animation but uh, some of these you're gonna need to be very very patient guys because franklin might just continue doing the same thing over and over all right so we might as you can see we just found the next one and it's gonna go back to the first one so you're gonna need to go ahead and reach uh, and cycle through this and see which one it fits you best all right for whatever you're trying to achieve but if you want to go ahead and stop the animation you're going to go ahead and press uh number pad nine on your keyboard it's going to go ahead and stop the animation now let's go ahead and go to number two and see what number two does with number two franklin is going to go ahead and take out his phone and pretend to be taking a selfie or something like that all right so you can go ahead and utilize this mod however you see fit for your creativity purposes all right let me go ahead and stop this animation now let's go ahead and check out the number three so with number three franklin is just gonna go ahead and into like waiting mod he's just chilling just relaxing right now not really too much going on so if you find this kind of like boring or something like that this is not something that you will be using too much i guess but let's go ahead and stop this animation and now we're gonna go ahead and go to the next one the next one is going to be number four so with number four is gonna allow franklin to pretend to be searching for something in the back of the in the trunk of the vehicle all right so let me go ahead and press number four so you can go ahead and utilize this however you see if maybe i should have been much closer to the vehicle you know let me go ahead and uh all right let me go ahead and uh, stop the animation all right so if i can go ahead and come close to the anime uh to the vehicle over here i'm gonna go ahead and stop the animation again so that i can do it properly so you need to be very much close to the trunk of the vehicle uh for this one to work properly all right for the for a better animation so let me go ahead and press number four again as you can see now is much much better all right so you can go ahead and utilize this however you see fit all right going forward all right let's go ahead and stop the animation and check out animation number five uh i don't even know what animation number five is but we're just gonna go ahead and check it out here real quick so this is number five all right so number five is gonna allow franklin to sit down just like this i think you do have this option uh if i showed uh, when i showed you how to install role play menu as well you do have this option on role play menu as well all right franklin needs to get up because i need to recycle to order this stuff here real quick so now we're gonna go ahead and check number six so number six is just a cup 
pause or so you can go ahead and utilize this as much as you want i usually use this one when i'm doing like lspdfr because this mod works in that direction as well all right let's go ahead and stop the animation now let's go ahead and check out number seven on our number pad so with number seven franklin is going to go ahead and bring out a cigarette you can go ahead and use this for lspdfr as well as a cop you're going to go ahead and pull out uh, a cigarette and smoke and of course you do have this animation on the role play menu as well all right let's go ahead and close last but not least is going to be number eight on your number pad with number eight franklin is going to go ahead and bring out some binoculars so if you want to go ahead and take out and take like a really cool uh thumbnail or something like that or you can go ahead and use this as the beginning of your video or something like that or as the end of your video or something like that it just depends on how creative you really want to get with this mod right here all right so guys with that said that really concludes the install and the showcase of these of all of these mods that we just installed right now so if you find this video a little bit helpful and uh, you find it easy to install make sure you do consider subscribing to the channel especially if you are new drop a like on the video and please do comment down below as for right now me and franklin i don't know what we are gonna be doing i think we're just gonna go ahead and uh try to get ourselves in trouble or something anyways i'll see you guys next time